Harry, nice to have you. Oh, thank you. I'm honored to be here. I'm very happy to see that, uh, what was it, Arizona and New Hampshire were the two that were holdouts on this? That is correct. Yes, and, and what, what do you think swayed their opinion? Public pressure, I hope? Well, I think a combination of things. Some things are just timing, and it's, it's time right. as we uh, enter this new millennium. You must be very proud. Well, I'm, I'm certainly very happy about it, and the thing is that what we have to try to do uh, is to continue to further the message of freedom, justice, and equality for all humankind. And that's an important one, one that, you know, your father, needs to stay, stood for in, in everything he did. Well, absolutely. I, I think uh, every campaign that he worked on, including even the last campaign, which was a poor people's campaign, unfortunately he didn't live to see it through fruition, but he was demanding that the uh, bringing together, first of all, poor whites, poor blacks, poor Native Americans, poor Latino Americans coming to Washington saying that we demand the right to decent jobs of decent pay. Didn't see that through fruition. So in a real sense, the economic part of his mission, economic parity has not been achieved in this nation. No. In fact, in many ways, we made tremendous steps since his death in the issues of racial equality, and we made fairly uh, few in the terms of reversing the, in fact, there's probably a greater disparity between the rich and the poor in the country than that. And that, that's what's uh, so frightening. Uh, one of the things uh, that I do as president of SCLC, the organization that he co-founded, yes. uh, we are always trying to find a way. I mean, this is the most prosperous period that we've ever lived in in the history of this nation. And yet, we have so many poor people. We've got to do a better job, because we can. And we really ought to be embarrassed that we have so many poor. Everyone in America ought to be able to make a decent living. Without a doubt. And every child and every adult should be able to be fed in this country. Oh, oh, the kind of surplus that the budget has this year, it doesn't make sense to me why they wouldn't take that and take care of the people in the nation. You know, I don't get it. Well, I think two things happen, of course. Since we're a political society, when we participate and the public demands that that happens, then that will happen. But at this time, we've allowed others to dictate what should happen. So. Uh, hopefully, we'll have great participation in the upcoming election. I hope so, too. I hope that everyone who is not registered to vote goes out there and does it, regardless of whether you agree with my politics or anyone else's. You should, everyone should participate, because that's Absolutely. what this country is founded by. Absolutely. My father often said that uh, a voteless people is a powerless people, and that one of the most important steps that we must take is that short step to the ballot box. Was there closure, finally, for your family when uh, it was decided that there was, in fact, a conspiracy? To yeah, kill your father. very much, very much so. Uh, we worked a long time, toiled uh, several years. For many years, we didn't even address it. But as the boys, Dexter and I, got older, uh, we decided as a family that we wanted to find out the truth because we always felt there was a conspiracy. So we're finished. We feel vindicated in a real sense. We feel that if others want to do further investigation, that's fine. But for us, it's closure. Right. And I'm happy for that. At least maybe that can be some sort of solace in that knowledge. Absolutely. It must be difficult to sort of combine the, the public figure of your father, the legendary American hero that he is and was, with the dad that was your daddy. Well, in a sense, yes, but maybe not, because daddy was daddy to us. I mean, when he came home, he didn't have a lot of time. It was a lot, not a large amount, but, but the quality was incredible. And, uh, in fact, I think I see a couple pictures yes, here that you have. Yes, there's a picture of you uh, with, uh, outside of your house, is that? Yes, that, that that's a picture outside of our home, and then another picture playing baseball. Right. Uh, that uh, we, I don't remember those pictures. You don't. But no, you were 10 I, years old when was, your father yes, was killed. I was 10 years old when yes. he was killed, so I wouldn't remember the, the, the real activity. I kind of knew, though. I think we all knew that he was, he had a mission, that he was doing something good and just and right. And uh, we accepted that he couldn't be there, but when he was there, Oh, it was wonderful. I mean, he'd create all kinds of problems for my mom. He'd put us on the refrigerator and let us jump off into his hands. I mean, right. we used to tear up the house. I mean, we just just regular kids. Right. A wonderful time. And speaking of doing something, you're following in uh, with his in his memory, I suppose, the Do Something organization. That's right. Tell That's everyone right. about that. Do Something is an organization that Andrew Shu and Michael Sanchez founded. Uh, which is basically concerned about getting young people to participate from January 17th and a week more, two weeks, to uh, involve themselves in acts of kindness and justice. That's one of the programs of Do Something for those two weeks, uh, starting on the birthday of Martin Luther King, Jr. And uh, at the end of that period, hopefully, they will have learned values like compassion, courage, uh, certainly nonviolence, uh, how to treat their fellow human being. And there's a whole teaching curriculum so teachers can look on the web, join in, as students, talk about all the different acts of kindness and justice they do. Uh, when we talk about justice, of course, uh, if 
when we think about the fact that sometimes there's racial confrontation, and, and there are more good people, obviously, than, than the bad. And the good have to be not afraid to stand up. Right. So Do Something is doing a very wonderful job. Over two and a half million people involved. Well, it's delightful to meet you. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Well, thank you and very much. And give my much. best to your whole family. I, I felt your father should have been man of the century. I was uh, yeah. hoping Time Magazine would have chosen him because, in my opinion, that's what he was. Well, thank you so much. I want to present you. Yes. Well, best it's supposed right, to be here. Oh, there you have it. This is a book uh, for your children. And it's a children's book illustrating I Have a Dream. What a wonderful so thing. I will you. treasure it, as will my children. I have a dream. Martin Luther King III. I thank you so much. Thank you. I really do. Yes, we'll be right back with Edie Falco after this.